Welcome everybody to this video cheat sheet of resetting BGP connections. The one thing that network managers never ever ever want you to do but sometimes is necessary. We're going to start off with the baseline show IP BGP summary command to see what adjacencies we, adjacencies we have. Then we're going to do a debug IP BGP updates to see what events are unfolding when we reset these BGP connections. And then we'll finish up with some verification show commands to make sure that our adjacencies did come back up. So let's look at the network topology. We're going to be resetting the BGP connection specifically from router 1 to router 2. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then also resetting all of the BGP connections on router 4 with one command. So let's go ahead and get started. And once again, this isn't something that you want to do uh, lightly on your network. Uh, resetting your BGP adjacency should always be done uh, in your company's uh, change control window and whatever policies they have. So that's my my big disclaimer for this video cheat sheet. So let's start off with a show IP BGP summary. And router 1 has a neighbor adjacency to router 2, and it's been up for 46 minutes. Now I'm only going to focus on that one. Let's do a debug IP BGP updates here on router 1 so we can watch the events unfold. And I'm going to clear the BGP session to router 2 on router 1, and you do that with the command clear IP BGP and then the neighbor IP address. Now remember on router 1 the neighbor is router 2 which is 12.12.12.2. .12 so I'm going to put that specific I'm going to put that specific neighbor in that command so that the adjacency to router 7 does got does not get reset. So I just cleared the adjacency. There's all kinds of output there that uh, so we know that the uh, command took, the BGP adjacency went down, Some they there were revising the routes to how to get to all these prefixes through router 7 now. They're all going through router 7 when before they probably wanted to go through uh, router 2. And the reason that all this was happening was because I cleared the session. I reset the session. So I'm going to turn debugging off. And now I'm going to do a show IP BGP summary to see if I only reset the neighbor adjacency to router 2. And I did. It's been up for 43 seconds when before it had been up for, let's see, 46 minutes. And as you can tell, the router 7 adjacency never went down. So that is how you clear an adjacency to a specific neighbor. Now let's go over to router 4 and do a show IP BGP summary to see what adjacencies router 4 has. And it's, it looks like it has five adjacencies. Four of them are uh, route refractor clients, which we set up in a previous video cheat sheet. And so they're iBGP neighbor adjacencies. And we have one eBGP neighbor adjacency here to router 7 that's been up for an hour and 48 minutes. To clear all of the BGP sessions where you don't care which neighbor you're clearing you do a clear IP BGP star where the star or the splat clears all peers all of them it doesn't care. So I'm going to type that in real quick and you should start seeing over here all these adjacent, this all just popped up all of a sudden. So all of that has reset. It's still thinking about it. So now it's done thinking about it, and we have control of our router again. So I'm going to do a show IP BGP summary. And we have all of our adjacencies back up, and now they've all been up just for less than a minute. So that is how you reset. BGP connections. We did it to a specific neighbor and then we did it generically with the clear IP BGP um, splat or shift 8. So we did a show IP BGP summary, we reset some commands, we did some debug commands, and then we verified that our neighbors were back up.